All right, today we're shooting a quick video on using our dunk tank, not a dip tank. Uh, this is a dip tank over here. Um, basically what this is is an old washout booth that I had before I was using this. Took the sides off, filled it full of water. And you just let your screen sit down in there. I do this as I'm exposing. When I get done exposing, I bring one over, take and set it here, take the one out that's in there, put it in, in the washout and put this one down in here. I like to put it down in an angle and let it go down slowly. That way if there's any bubbles, they kind of work their way out. Because what I found is if you do get bubbles under there, they make uh, hard sp spots that are hard to wash out in the emulsion. So you take your, uh, take this out. Basically what this just does, and it's only been sitting in here for a couple of minutes. Like I said, about the time it takes me to expose the screen, which for me is uh, two minutes and 30 seconds to expose the screen. <clears throat> and this is sitting in there. Softens up the emulsion. Let me bring this a little closer so you can see. There we go. All right. So I just use a garden hose. I do use a pressure washer sometimes when I have half tones, but this will wash right out. And when I get done, tilt it in just a gentle spray, front and back. What that does is washes out any unexposed emulsion, gets it all out of the screen so you don't get that so you don't get that scumming where you get the spots where you get a little bit of emulsion dried and you have to get it out after. This takes care of it. You never have that problem. Um, so that's uh, I'm not even sure if I'm in frame. <laughs> it doesn't matter, you don't want to see me anyways. It's not what you came here for. Uh, anyways, that's just a simple little quick blurb on uh, using a, a dunk tank not a dip tank uh, it's best if you just let it sit in there when you can take your screen hose it down and let it set where you're doing the other stuff but the nice thing about using the tank is say you get distracted or you have to go do something and you've you've left a screen sitting here that you've wet down you know what a bastard that is to try and get that out. If, if it dries, you forget about it, you wander off. I've had screens set in the, in the water all night and come back the next day. Or leave, you know, they've, maybe an hour or two, I've forgotten about them because, you know, that happens. It come back, pulled out, and it washes right out. Almost, sometimes the emulsion's falling right out of there. Um, another nice thing you'll find out is if you're exposing your screens right because if you leave that sucker set in there for a while and all of a sudden the emulsion's washing out well you're going to find out that's a nice time to find out here instead of on press if it starts breaking down early but if you've done a good job of exposing your screens you can leave that sucker set in there all night long and it should wash out fine with no problems at all and then put it in your drying room booth or cabinet whatever you use uh, that's it. Quick little whatnot on this. Thanks for watching.